Hello everyone, my name is Shauna. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Read Aloud tool in the Snap and Read iOS Safari extension. Follow along with me and don't be afraid to pause the video, rewind, and go back if you missed anything. Let's get started. We're going to head over to our iPad screen where we will navigate to our Safari app and launch it. And I will need to activate my Snap and Read iOS Safari extension, which I will do by navigating to the upper right hand corner of my search browser and clicking on the share button, which is this box with the upward arrow coming out of it directly to the right of my search bar. Once I click on the search button, a menu will appear and I will have three different rows here. In the third row, I will select that grayed out Snap and Read icon and the Snap and Read iOS Safari extension has been activated. And I can tell because in my upper left hand corner, I see my Snap and Read iOS Safari extension toolbar. I am now ready to begin using my Read Aloud tool. I'm on an article about redwood trees from National Geographic, and I want this article read aloud to me. So I'll need to activate my Read Aloud tool. I will click on the Read Aloud tool, which is the speaker icon, the second from the left in the toolbar. Let me click on that speaker and it will turn gray, indicating that it is activated. I can click anywhere in the text for Snap and Read to begin reading that text to me. And when I want Snap and Read to stop reading, I will click on that grayed out speaker and it will change back to its original light gray color. So let me demonstrate. The super trees. They can grow to... As you can see, when I was done using the Read Aloud tool, I simply clicked on my Read Aloud icon and it changed back to its original state and stopped reading aloud to me. The Read Aloud tool allows for more flexibility and personalization in the reading process, which is incredibly useful for any reader. You also have the option to highlight text to speak first and then having it read aloud to you. I will highlight this very first sentence by selecting and holding a word for a second, and my word will be highlighted with blue markers marking the beginning and end of my highlight. The markers are these blue vertical lines with points on them. I can click and drag both ends to adjust how long I want my sentence to be. Now I will click on my Snap and Read Read Aloud icon and Snap and Read will begin reading to me. California hillside thick with scrubby. Once again, I just click on my Read Aloud icon for Snap and Read to stop reading to me. You can personalize your Read Aloud experience by customizing your Read Aloud option. Select and hold down on that Read Aloud icon until a small menu appears. Here, you can change the highlight text color, which is the color of the text that is highlighted as Snap and Read Reads. If I click on the color box to the right of the highlight text color option, a pop-up menu will appear where I can select a color from the variety of colors that Snap and Read has available. I can also choose from a pre-made template, which is designed to maximize viewability with dark and light colors for text and background color. I will simply click on the button that says Templates to the left of the colors option, and I can scroll down in this templates list to see the variety of templates that I have available. I can also change the highlight background color, which is the color around the text that Snap and Read reads. Once again, I will click on the color box next to the highlight background color option, and there will be the same color and template options available. Note that when you select a template in either the highlight text or highlight background color option, that template will apply to both the text and background color, so there is no need to select the desired template in both places. Then there is the highlight paragraph color, which will change the color of the highlight when an entire paragraph is selected. You have many color options to choose for this one as well. The voice of the narrator of the text can be customized as well. I will simply click on the name below that voice option right there. I'll click on the name Daniel, and I'll see the other English name that we have available, Samantha, as well as other names of narrators that we have for other languages when you may be reading text in another language or have it translated to you in another language. So we're going to click on Samantha. I will show you Samantha's voice. The super trees. They can grow to be the tallest trees on. Additionally, you have the ability to adjust the volume of the text, which is the very first slider option here. Closer to the left is quieter and closer to the right is louder. I also have the ability to adjust the speed, so closer to the left is slower and closer to the right is faster. And I also have the ability to change the pitch as well, so closer to the left is flatter and closer to the right is sharper. So let me demonstrate these options. 
on acute over With so many options to personalize your read aloud tool, you can be assured you have a one of a kind reading experience, all made possible within the simplicity of Snap and Read. Head on over to donjohnson.com slash support to learn more about how Snap and Read can help you in your reading journey. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.